it's date night here on Bike Bike Nudge Nudge. If you watched an earlier video where I compared the protected bike lanes in my city to urban freeways, you may remember that Laopo and I wanted to try a hand-pulled noodle restaurant. Well, today we're going for Lan Mian. The default in my city would be to drive, but instead, we're going to go by cargo bike. In this video, I'm going to compare our experience going out for date night in a cargo bike to what we could have experienced if we'd driven. Let's first look at the quantifiable aspects of date night. Had we driven, the route is about 6.3 kilometers, and Google tells me it would have taken 16 minutes, not including congestion or red lights. By cargo bike, I measured the route to be about 6.3 kilometers, and it took us 21 minutes. This means date night was a special occasion that took us out of our 15 minute city. I maybe could have saved a minute or two, but it was 27 degrees Celsius on date night, and I didn't want to arrive all sweaty, so I took things a little easy. The pedal assist motor actually makes the ride very easy, so I tend not to overheat nearly as much as I do on my acoustic bikes. The motor especially helps to flatten hills, but our route this evening was fairly flat. We were a little fortunate that our route was a similar length to the driving route. We had a few more turns, but there were no big route finding issues or major gaps in the biking infrastructure that felt unsafe. It has been shown over and over that safe infrastructure that takes people on bikes where they want to go is the biggest nudge to get more people to ride bikes more often. The only gap in infrastructure is the last block to the restaurant. As I mentioned in my previous video, I prefer protected bike lanes on the main street, right in front of all the businesses. Reducing the car traffic would make this street more pleasant for all the people walking along the street or dining on the patios. This is probably the most popular walkable street in my city. It attracts a lot of people despite being seven vehicle lanes wide and often very congested with those vehicles. If there was a protected bike lane on the street, as I would have preferred over the urban highway a block away, Laopo and I might come here more often and be more spontaneous on date night. If the protected bike lane was on this street, we would likely just ride along it until we spotted a restaurant that met our cravings that day. Having the bike lane a block away means that the lane is designed more to suit commuters. Anyway, while biking to the restaurant took slightly longer than had we driven, we saved time looking for parking. We were able to lock up our bike directly in front of the restaurant for free, despite there being a lack of bike parking infrastructure. As you can see, there's some curb parking directly in front of the restaurant, but it is full. If you study your Donald Shoop, and I have, you would recognize that the curb parking is underpriced. This block should have at least one and probably two vacant spots nearly all the time, if parking was properly priced. However, parking is a little more complicated in this part of the city. I hear a lot of complaints about parking in this area, yet there are tons of free, time limited, and pay parking spots in the area. But drivers tend to hunt for the free parking. That probably means our cargo bike trip to the restaurant took less total time than driving. Had we driven, we likely would have had to spend more than the six minute difference in time to hunt for parking and to walk to and from the restaurant. This is one area of my city where I agree with some of Donald Shoup's estimates. I would not be surprised if 10 or 20% of the vehicles in this part of the city are hunting for parking, especially all the ones I see cruising off the main street. And these drivers are cruising despite there being lots of off street parking in the area. These drivers want to find the free parking that exists in the area. The residents and businesses in the area should read about Donald Shoup's suggestion on a parking improvement zone. It would be tough to implement though, since the parking problem most people think exists here is that there aren't vast asphalt seas of free parking, like in the power centers in the suburbs. But that's enough about parking. For people on bikes, it's free and easy because bikes take up so much less space than cars, and my city isn't encouraging people to bring their bikes to this street. Let's talk about some of the other experience differences between what date night would have been like if we had driven compared to what date night was actually like because we used the cargo bike. The weather on date night was one incentive to ride the bike. It was a tiny bit warm for me, but I have to appreciate any warm weather where I live. Rain, snow, or cold with icy streets would have had me preferring to drive. The exercise was also an incentive to ride. I didn't completely overeat, so I had a comfortable ride home. The bit of post-meal exercise helped with digestion too. Other incentives were all the usual reasons to bike, like being better for the environment and posing much less danger on others. And the final incentive I'm going to mention was the social interaction. Everyone we passed looked and smiled. Quite a few people also commented on how they liked what Laopo and I were doing. I never get that while driving. Unfortunately, Laopo and I didn't cross paths with any of our friends while on our ride. Riding our bike makes it easier to stop and chat whenever that happens. Positive social interaction is nearly impossible when driving. So that was date night. Because Laopo and I wanted to try a restaurant that was a block away from a protected bike lane, we were able to bike safely there and enjoy a meal together. The route was about as far as if we had driven. The ride took six minutes longer than the predicted drive time, but I think I saved more than six minutes by being able to lock the bike right in front of the restaurant. 
Parking the bike was also free, but my biggest recommendation from this video is to find someone who will ride around with you in a cargo bike on date night. That's all for this video. Please consider liking this video if you also like Lenmian. And please leave a comment about any great dates you've had by bike. You can click through here if you want to see the previous video I mentioned where I discuss why I prefer a protected bike lane right in front of the Landman restaurant.